Mallorca is the main island in the group of Balearic Islands, an archipelago of Spain in the western Mediterranean Sea. In summer, several very pretty and popular resorts have become a haven for local and foreign petty criminals. The authorities have finally been forced to introduce a crackdown and are trying to attract back more mature and responsible tourists. However, in winter, although many of the summer attractions are closed, places such as Magaluf have become a sanctuary from the bitter cold of mainland Europe. Arriving at the modern airport in the capital of Palma de Mallorca, the incoming big chill refugees have several options for getting themselves to their city or resort accommodation. The public buses are excellent for closer destinations and affordable regulated taxis also line up at the airport to take visitors to resort areas outside the city. Taxis normally take the high motorway to places such as Magaluf or Parmanova, while southbound buses take the coastal road alongside the harbour. This coastal journey passes the Cathedral of Santa Maria of Parma, more commonly referred to as La Sioux. This imposing Gothic Roman Catholic cathedral was built on the site of a pre-existing Arab mosque. It's 121 meters long, 55 meters wide, and its nave is 44 meters tall. Designed in the Catalan Gothic style, but with Northern European influences, it was begun by King James I of Aragon in 1229, but finished only in 1601. It sits within the old city of Parma, atop the former citadel of the Roman city, and is now a landmark building for the modern capital. The building in front of the cathedral is a royal palace that had been built as an Arabian fort. It was claimed as official royal residence in the early 14th century. Nowadays it houses a museum and the Spanish royal family uses it only as an official residence for certain ceremonies and state receptions. Long stays at self-catering holiday apartments have become the norm for groups of seniors, especially those from the UK and Scandinavia, during the winter months. The quality of accommodation varies, but despite some badly designed apartments, which lead to noise complaints where bedroom walls adjoin the TV sets in the neighbouring apartment, if the main purpose is to have a base from which to get out and explore the sights of Mallorca, it can be a good holiday. The expectation of the holiday maker to escape to warmer temperatures should be kept to realistic levels. Despite some hotels having heated indoor pools, Outside, the highest winter temperature in a warmer year, in places such as Magaluf, could be only 18 degrees at best. But on a calm day, the few family-owned local seafood restaurants that are open can still be enjoyable. and beach strolls can still be magical. Well, this is actually on the border between a place called Magaluf and Parma Nova. But this is San Matias Beach, just to confuse things. The real Magaluf Beach is around the point from here, and that way is Parma Nova. So we're sort of on the border, but our hotel is in Magaluf which is down mm, southwest of Palma, Palma de Mallorca. So here we are in Mallorca.
But you have to be ready for winter weather. The mercury can still fall to 10 or 12 degrees, especially when fierce winds batter the coastline as they roar in from the Mediterranean. And avoiding winter chills can still be a challenge as some visitors can still bring not only their luggage, but also their own winter ills with them.